Hey guys, Talon and Nick here from TNS Tech World. So today's the part two of fixing the power switch. So what we've uh, accomplished here is we figured out that the switch no longer works inside the Genesis. So we have another idea. So let's just take this apart right now. There you go. So we have it disassembled from before. And anyways, now we have uh, figured out that if we can solder another switch to the two prongs under the switch right here. So, what we are going to do is we're going to go and solder this button here to under here, the solder points. <laughs> the so, button just... Uh, Nick, okay. Anyways, um, so after we solder it, we're going to have the button right here. And so when the cartridge goes down, it's going to press in the switch and turn on the Genesis. So it's basically kind of like a when the cartridge is in, the Genesis will turn on. So, so yeah, let's get the DIY project started. Also, we're, we decided to take this route because the Genesis, we can't find another power button for it. And the soldering it is going to be a, quite the work and we don't want to break the board. So we thought just soldering another switch onto it would be easier. Okay, so Nick has the solder gun. Ooh. And we're going to solder some wire to the bottom of it first. Guys, so we're back, and the Genesis button works. So as you can see here, we have the button soldered, and red light shows up right here. Meaning, oh. indicating the system is on. So, and it doesn't work with this one again. As we, oh my God, watch the the button flip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have some tape here. Oh, we should put the screw back in first, Nick. Mm. We're putting it over top, so we put the screw in first. Screws are right beside you. So right now we're gonna we're screw all back. this bin. Yep. Oh God. So we're putting back the Genesis quickly. Which screw is the right one for the... Uh, two black ones. Two black ones? Yeah. So get the bottom of the Genesis, Nick. One black one, two black one. Yeah, give me a sec. So after we screw this in, we're going to go and test it out. Don't forget to punch the like button in the face. Whoa. Whoa. Before you put that in. What? We need to make sure that the wires sit flush. They do. What the fuck? How does this happen? They need to like go through that metal thing. What do you mean? It sits flush-ish. Yep. Okay, so now we need to get the screwdriver and screw these two in. I'm just gonna plug this in to make sure that it still works. Like this. Oh yeah, it still works. Yeah. It's actually a pretty cool concept that we actually thought of. We're like, what if we had something that holds down the button? But we're like, what would hold down the button? The cartridge. <laughs> Alright, where's the other screw, Nick? Uh, it's right here. Okay. This button should be... We just have to make sure the case uh, goes down. And we, if you guys want, we will probably uh, you know, play some Genesis. Yeah. We can play some sand. Okay, update. So, apparently the button turns extremely hot after you hold it on for some time. Literally, it could burn your skin. So, we're going to have to think of another way for this. Okay, last update. So, um... The button ended up burning, 
like basically it short circuited and the button actually burnt. So you can see there's some dark marks right here from the burn. But the Genesis turns on still. Yeah, the Genesis turns on. So right now we're just going to try and desolder the actual power button and see if we could fix it. But yeah, geez, we almost burnt down the house if we didn't if we didn't check the button. Good job, Nick. Great way to play Sonic. Yep. <laughs> After extensive research, we figured out that this wire keeping it always on is good. So now we're gonna put it back together. So Nick, would you do the honors? Whoa, the board's hot right here, though. Is he? Mm, maybe it's just heat for the system being on. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's a heat sink, Nick. It's supposed to do that. It's a heat sink. Oh, yeah, okay. The heat sink goes on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the button was acting as a heat sink. You flip it around. We need to make sure this cord will fit nice and flush. Good boy. Holy fuck. Never knew the heat sink got that hot. Yeah. Oh, jeez, okay, that's burning. Alright, so let's get the two screws here. Hey. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna plug in the Genesis quickly just to make sure nothing got screwed up and we don't have any uh, friendly fires here. Okay, we're good. So, we're gonna put it back together and we'll be back shortly. So we have the Genesis all hooked up to the TV and all that. So, let's plug it in. You see red lights on. Oh, what the fuck? Has to be in a proper way. Yeah, the, the actual port itself is broken. There we go. Well. And now the Genesis works with the power button. Same with the reset switch if we press that. That also works. So there we go. Thank you guys for watching, and that wasn't what we hoped, but yeah. Okay, see you guys in the next video.